travel to Yip Yaviskala in central Finland for a clash of styles and a group eye opener for both teams. End of the first third we go. Yip had most of the early play and as Miko Salmio picks the puck up at the blue line, a quick shot and he scores. Only 4-10 into the game. Salmio unassisted. Rushing up, beating the sliding Milan defensively for Salzburg and zipping it past Brookler's blocker. Yip then on the power play, but a shorthanded chance coming forward. Number 72, John Hughes, and that shot goes off the outside of the post. Hughes, the leading scorer in Austrian hockey last year with Villacher SV. But Thomas Tart on the puck to deflect it wide of the goal. Yip still on the end of that same power play. Nico main pa to Yanni Tuparainen, and then Eric Perrin with a big blast from up close. Power play goal with only 48 seconds remaining in the first period. Eric Perrin, former NHL player and line mate of Martin Saint Louis at the University of Vermont, makes it 2 0 for Yipt. Into the second period we go. Early on in the period, a shorthanded chance for Peter Hubacek. A very soft hooking call led to a penalty shot, which Hubacek stepped up to take himself. Very slowly danced in, shot and scored. Time of the goal, only 18 seconds into the second period. Brookler beaten again, and Yip with a three-goal lead. Three goal lead. Three-goal leads have proved dangerous so far in the CHL, however, and a shorthanded chance coming to Thomas Raffel. Beautiful one-time shot underneath Tarki in the Yip goal. The lovely assist going to Zdenek Kutlak. Finding Raffle on the far side of the ice, beating Tarki down low. Short-handed goal for Salzburg, back in the game down 3-1. Third period now, yipped again on the power play, but Ryan Duncan skating forward for Salzburg. Short-handed chance, puck falls to David Meckler, but he can't beat Tarki. Later in the period, six on five now for Salzburg. Generating a chance, puck to Brian Fahey. Fahey makes it 3-2. Assist to Walter and Velser. Fahey finding the net unguarded as Tarki pushed out of the way. But that was as close as Salzburg could come. Fahey with one other late chance on the six on five. But Tarki did just enough. The final score, Yip three, Salzburg two.